Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to go over some hidden features on the new LG K10. And we're going to start with a really cool one, which is being able to download custom keyboard themes. And to do this, uh, we're just going to, I'm going to tap on the little Google search bar here just to bring up the keyboard. And once the keyboard is up, you're going to hold down on the button next to the space bar. Tap on the settings wheel. And then go down to keyboard theme. And in the upper right corner, click on this little down arrow. And this is going to take you to LG Smart World. And this is actually LG's own world of, of like full themes for your phone and fonts and all kind of fun stuff. And keyboard themes. So you can go through here and there's a lot of free stuff and you can find a cool theme that resonates with stuff that you like. Uh, so we already have this one downloaded. Let's download this classy rain one. Now for you guys, it may not take you right here. Um, the first time I did open it, it did ask me to update uh, the app. So it will ask you to update. It'll probably ask you to like check a box and then after it will take you to this part. So just be aware of that. I'm gonna hit download. Give it a little time to download. And then as soon as it's done, um, it'll say it's installed or it's installing right now. And then we'll just, uh, yep, there it is. So back button, back button again. And now our new theme is here. I can check that and hit apply. And now if I continue to go back, here's our keyboard and it's got a cool, little pink theme. Obviously this is, wouldn't really flow well with me, but for you ladies, you may like that style. You want to change it, hold down that button, back to settings and keyboard theme and just pick a different one. This is another one I have downloaded. Apply and there it is. So that's our first hidden feature right there. Our next hidden feature is a really cool one. It's actually a feature that if you've ever uh, had the stylo, or uh, some of the more high-end LG devices, you may know about this already. This is a shortcut when your phone is off. If you um, double tap on the volume up, which is on the back of the phone, so double tap, it will launch Quick Memo. This is really cool. If you need to like take a like type a quick note, or you get bored, you want to draw something, or you know, you want to type some uh, a little note text, you can do that, it automatically will launch just from double tapping on the volume up. Now on the flip side, if we double tap the volume down, it actually will launch the camera. So here we go. And there's our camera, let me take some pictures. So again, double tapping, you're just pressing it twice back to back, just like that. And there it is. Okay, so that's our second little hidden feature and it'll just help you pull up that camera just a little bit quicker. So I always love that one, definitely want to include that. Our next hidden feature is also gonna come inside the camera. We're gonna go to camera, not messages, but camera. And basically uh, when you record video, there's a new option now where you can actually take stills while the video is recording. So I have my camera button down here. I can take a quick still just like that. So capture that moment right within the video. And you can also pause the video now and notice it's locked on 16 seconds. Tap on the red button again, it will continue to record. So that's a really cool feature right there. Um, just allowing you to, um, you know, do a little more with your, uh, with your video. And, and right now it's also doing the, um, the, uh, quick autofocus, which is a really cool feature too. So there is that let's jump to our next hidden feature, which is, uh, how to get more apps on your home screen. So right now we have four rows and four columns, four columns, four rows. So this is one, two, and uh, actually it's, um, five rows, four columns. So if you actually hold down on your home screen and you tap on home screen settings and go down to layout and grid, 
We can actually switch this to a five by five grid, which will allow you to get more on your home screen. So if I go home here, I can now add more apps. It will actually um, give me a little more space. And then I can, you know, have even more stuff on my home screen. So I love to have like a lot of stuff. I like to have widgets on there. I like to have all my favorite apps. Like, so I love being able to make that adjustment. But for some of you guys, you may want a neater home screen and then you can basically switch it to one of the grids where there's less on the screen. So, you know, to each their own. All right, our uh, fifth and last hidden feature is gonna come in the settings. I'm gonna take you there and then tell you what it's all about. So settings, and then we're gonna go to, we're gonna make sure you're on sound and notifications and go to the bottom and go to more. And then all at the bottom, you're gonna go where it says message slash call voice notifications. So this is a really cool feature when someone calls or sends you a text message, it will actually announce who called you or who just texted you. It's basically like a caller ID, but for your cell phone. So just by turning this on, so I'm gonna hit up here, um, you can control it. So maybe you say, I wanna hear who calls, but not who texts, or vice versa. I wanna hear who texts, but not call. There's even a read message out loud option, and you can actually have it read the message as well as who's texting you. So it's a really cool thing. You gotta be careful with it though, because um, you might be a private person, you may not want your business out there, you may not want certain people knowing who's texting you, so it's definitely not a feature for everybody, but uh, it will be cool for a lot of people and definitely encourage you to try it out. So, Anyway guys, this has been the hidden features of the LG K10. Uh, we're going to try to find more and do a part two, but for now these are the some of the basic ones we thought you would uh, enjoy and help you make them also your new phone. Hope you did find it helpful. Make sure you also like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Thanks for watching. Take care, and as always, have a good one.